Grand Prairie, fishing for some bass and trout or whatever bites. And here we go, we got a fish on. Trying to get over here to a place where I can get to him. And uh, first bass broke me off that I had bite and this is the second one nice little uh, probably what do you say 10 inches yeah probably 10 inch large mouth but hey using a wacky rig uh, Senko there you go first ever crane prairie large mouth bass Mwah. hopefully I'm recording there you go. I can check. Yep, recording. Sweet. So this is uh, the second video we're shooting today. First one was a fly fishing video. Second one is a lake slash rod and reel slash whatever bites kind of video. As you guys well know. Um, last week I didn't get two videos out because I had company and the other times we went out we just didn't catch any fish so one time we did catch fish we just didn't record and then the other time we didn't catch any fish so we went uh, sturgeon fishing one day well my brother was here but I think I'm going to put a clip of his nine foot sturgeon he caught a couple years ago from his first trip out here to Oregon so we looking for that I know it's old video, but I've never put it out, so I think uh, then that was before I had a GoPro, so it was all shot on an iPhone. So I think I'll put that video out sometime this week. That way you can see what my bro looks like from Missouri. So we're just throwing out there towards all these trees and stuff and just working it in. And I got hung up. We got that limb caught, I think. Uh, this lake is pretty uh, stumpy. Uh, got a lot of bass cover in it, so yeah. And I think I'm gonna lose another hook and sinko, but the f first one I lost from a snag. Second one I set the hook and broke it off. And this one it looks like I'm just gonna break off because well, it got hung up too good. So, I'm going to go re-rig up and I'll see you guys in a little bit. One. Another large mouth. I'm trying. So, there's your second large mouth of the day. That one's a little bit bigger, maybe 12 in inches long. Maybe. But, uh, yeah. I can't complain about that, catching the fish. Ah. Come on, hold still. Get you unhung, unhooked, and back in there. Look at that beautiful, beautiful largemouth. Mwah. Love you. Go back. Get bigger. <laughs> so basically, I got a rubber band, and these aren't the rubber bands for sink for wacky rigging. These are just hair rubber bands, you know, because I use these for more than just fishing. So, and then just the two uh, hook wacky rig and throwing it out there and moving it back in. Let's see. We can get another one. Make sure I'm recording. I am. But that's that's two of them. So at least you guys will get a little video. Hopefully uh we'll catch some more and we'll have a little bit longer video for you guys. Maybe uh, we'll actually get one being hooked on camera. I did order a new Shimano. Oh, there's a bite. He didn't want it though. 
I did order a new Shimano the other day. Um, I'm not going to tell you the price of it because it's redunculous. But, uh, yeah. I thought it was time for a new reel. My wife thought it was time for a new reel. So I ordered a new reel, new Shimano. And so it'll be here hopefully within a week or so. And then maybe I'll unbox it on YouTube for you guys. Maybe I won't. So um, I'm thinking about getting a bass reel or a rod to go with it because I don't have any bass rods. All I've got is still head rods. Because, well, basically what it boils down to, I've told you this guy before on YouTube, is usually when I buy a reel, I buy it, or a rod, I buy it for still head fishing purposes. Um, but I'm got, it'll be my fourth uh, bait casting reel. And I've already got three on still head rods, so maybe I'll pair it with a nice uh, um, bass rod instead. Yep, there's a bite, there's a bite. There we go, there's another one. This one feels a little bit bigger. I don't know if it is. Ooh. Oh yeah, it's a lot bigger. Oh yeah, there we go. All right. So, uh, that's not a lot bigger. It's a little bigger, though. And I'm not going to complain. This one's kind of scarred up. Oops, hold, hold on, bud. I'm going to let you go. Oh, yeah, he, he is bigger, though. Well, maybe not much longer, but he's definitely bigger this way, you know. But, hey, <laughs> I'm having a good day bass fishing, I guess. I was throwing a spinner bait earlier. I might throw a chowder bait later too. You just never know. Beautiful bass, a little scarred up. But overall, a beautiful largemouth bass. There you go. Come on, Adrian, bro. You gotta get one. Taking your time doing it right, right? <laughs> And I am fishing with Adrian. So, um, by the way, y'all in YouTube land, uh, comment what kind of rod I should, what kind of bass rod I should get to pair with my new uh, Shimano DC. Um, I'd like to know you guys' opinion. Um, just so I got an idea of what, to, what kind of rod to buy. So. We'll see what happens. So this is the second video that I'll be posting this week. Won't be the first one, because my first one is the fly fishing video. And it's an absolutely beautiful video if you ask me. And if you ask Adrian, he's gonna say it's a really nice video too. Can't complain. Fly fishing for big rainbows in the morning. Bass fishing in the evening. And we may even go back to fly fishing because I, I might want to go get a limit of trout to take home. Because my wife absolutely loves trout. So this may not be our last stop for today. We have fished a couple other spots today that didn't pan out. So just to keep it real with y'all, it's not like every spot we went to, we just slayed them today. And I got hung up again. Imagine that. <laughs> uh, a body of water with all these logs in here, you're bound to get hung up multiple times in a day. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to retie again, I think. Which is fine. I don't mind retying. Especially since I got all that gear to use anyways. So. Yeah. Time to go retie. 